Hello and welcome. My name is Jeff. I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this short video, we are going to create a list of the tables that appear throughout the workbook, along with the sheet and cell reference, along with a hyperlink that enables us to quickly navigate there. So let's say that we have a workbook full of tables and these tables were created with the insert table ribbon command. So we have a table on sheet one and this table is named table one. We have another worksheet called sheet two and there's a table here called table two and there's another worksheet here and this is called table three. So what we'd like to do is have Excel create a list of those tables along with their sheet and cell reference along with a link that we can use to click to navigate to any of the, uh, the tables. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to break into three steps. First, we're going to grab a list of the table names with Power Query. Then we're going to create the reference using the cell function. Then we're going to create the hyperlink using the hyperlink function. So let's begin by grabbing the list of table names. I'm going to use Power Query. So data, get data from other sources, blank query. And inside of the Power Query editor, we're going to type a function called Excel dot current workbook, open and close parens, we hit enter, and this is going to retrieve a list of the tables. Now we also can see the content, but we don't need the actual contents of each of the table. What we're really after is just the name. So I'm actually just going to delete that. And now with the table name, we could send this back to Excel by using a close and load to, but what will end up happening is that this query results table will actually then be a table, which then pulls itself back into this list next time we hit refresh. So what we want to do is um, prevent this actual query results table from appearing in this list of tables. The way that we're going to do that is just pick a name for our query. I'm going to call this TOC for table of contents, pick any other name that you want, and then I'm just going to filter that out. So the way that I would do it, even though it's not in the list yet, is I'm just going to use a standard filter text filters, and I only want to include those rows where the table name does not equal TOC. Click OK, and now that filter has been applied, and so this query results table won't make its way back into these table results. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to close and load to and I'm going to send this into a table, into an existing worksheet, this is fine, and I click OK. Now we basically have this. This is going to be a temporary placeholder for that table of contents table, but when I right click and refresh, it's good. So speaking of right click and refresh, anytime we add a new table or we change a table's name, we only need to right click and refresh to update this list. Um, so with that first column done, now it's time to create a column that contains the, like the worksheet and cell reference. So I'm going to just type um, a new column label, type whatever you want. I'm just going to call it ref. Um, this is a results table, so the table uh, auto, auto expands. And now we're just going to use a function. And this function is the cell function. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. It allows us to provide a bunch of uh, different types of information about the reference cell. In this case, we want the address, comma, and then what's the reference? Well, we don't really want to reference a text string. We need to somehow convert this text string into an actual table reference. And the way that we do that is through the indirect function. If you haven't checked that out, what the indirect function does is it converts a text string into an actual Excel reference. And so I want to convert the text that it finds in this column into an actual reference through the indirect function. I close the function and hit enter. Now, as we can see, the cell function returns the address. It includes the workbook, worksheet, and cell reference. Now, we could be good to go here, but we might as well make this easy to navigate to. So let's create another column. I'm going to call this link, call it whatever you want. And here we're going to use the hyperlink function. Now, we need to create a bookmark to the location that's here. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to use the pound or hash uh, sign enclosed in, in quotes. And then we're going to use the concatenation operator. That's just a fancy term for the ampersand. And that means join. So I want to join this bookmark symbol, pound or hash, 
with whatever text we find in here. Okay, and then a comma. And then we can pick any friendly name we want. That's going to be the name that is going to be displayed in the cell, uh, enclosed in, in uh, quotes. I'm going to use go to, pick whatever else you want. And then I'm going to close the quotes and close the function. So this is going to create a hyperlink to this bookmark location of this and with the text go to. So we hit enter, that gets filled down, and now I think we got it. If we wanted a quick way to navigate to table one, we can click this link and we can confirm that looks good. If we want to go to table two, we click this, that looks good. And the final test is table three, click this, and we got it. Okay, cool? All right. Hey, thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University. 